Good morning, welcome to the newspaper headlines this morning. I'm Christian. Chico, let's take a look at some of the national dailies. I have the Vanguard newspaper. We have $21 billion revenue, 100,000 jobs coming from our refinery. That is from the Dangote Group. Above the masthead, Buhari to commission second Niger Bridge via Zoom today. And uh, Plateau Killings death toll hits 130 as Khan warns against reprisal. And Northeast Federal Government seek funding for over 4 million malnourished people. Police rescue kidnapped Sojourn, nine others in Benue. Now redesign massive cash. Uh, hoarding resumes. Uh, we have uh, the next report below the paper. Presidential poll why tribunal rejected life coverage. Read that. Uh, uh, on page 8 of the Vanguard newspaper. Again, armed headers kill 18 behead women children in Benue uh, State. The Nigerian Tribune says refinery first product to heat market end of July. That is Dangote Buhari inaugurates refinery, calls it game changer for Nigeria's economy. Uh, above the masthead, we have 22 killed in Benue Plateau and uh, 10th National Assembly Speakership. Over 150 opposition reps elect meet differ to governors and party leaders. Aero 5 deposes two cardinal traditional chiefs, uh, court sacks another in Ekiti State. Uh, below the paper, we have Supreme Court to deliver judgment in PDP suit against Tinubu Shetima on Friday. And APC withdraws petition against PDP INEC in Rivers. Over to the Daily Independent, we have Dangote's refinery significant milestone for Nigeria. That's Buhari, the main headline. Above the masthead, Presidential Committee requires 3.4 trillion naira to tackle flooding. Mass resignation, National Assembly intervenes, calls for adherence to NC. AA regulations. Beside the paper, reorganization of aviation agencies still ongoing. That is Serika. And uh, Ajero vows to restore NLC as a fighting machine. The uh, 10th House of Reps, we have not endorsed any speakership aspirant. That's from the minority caucus. Uh, Presidential election court dismisses pleas for live telecast. APC Tinubu oppose consolidation of petitions we have the punch newspaper dangote refinery petrol heat market july federal government to save seven trillion naira plant projects export to 53 african countries end to toxic fuel supply that is dangote is saying that buhari says refinery game changer emifili project 12,000 megawatts power above the masthead tribunal rejects live broadcast supreme court decides anti tunable suit on friday uh, moving on to the down part of the paper uh, my admin boosted navy's capacity with 20 ships that's buhari and operators fault removal of nama managing director governors elect protest as outgoing governors shun transition panels we have the guardian newspaper this morning telcos rising revenues profits fail to reflect in quality of services above the masters buhari's fragile pieces more hardware less safety and PDP dismisses Atiku's OB request for live telecast of proceedings and relief for travelers as Buhari commissions second Niger Bridge today. And uh, President uh, Belema Oil Limited, Jack Rich, celebrates wife, Dr. Elizabeth Ateti. Uh, we have the Nation newspaper, the main headline, Petrol Diesel orders to flow from Dangote Refinery July. 40% of output from the 650,000 barrel per day facility for exports. Above the masthead, Sirica says more heads to roll in aviation agencies. And Tinubu will support Navy, says Buhari, as President reviews assets. President signs social investment agency bill, others, while judiciary must resist technical judgments. And below the paper, Supreme Court fixes friday for judgment in pdp suit against chinubu the daily trust says dangote refinery a game changer that's the main headline flags off lake chad oil drilling today nigeria to be self-sufficient that is dangote to generate 21 billion dollars employ over 100,000 youths we have below the masthead experts want chinubu to insist on synergy among security forces 
CBN's stalled intervention disrupts activities at Buhari's alma mater, and stakeholders reject naming of aviation ministry won't return to transportation. Sudan crisis Nigerian pilgrims to pay $100 a fare hike. And uh, we have Erufai deposits two monarchs and district head. With that, we've come to the end of the newspaper review this morning. For more notifications, you can subscribe to this channel. I'm Christian Chuku. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.